Markets lost a lot of steam, uh, and we're near the session's lows right now. Meanwhile, oil closing up 33 cents a barrel since learning a British oil tanker is believed to have been seized by Iran. This happening in the Strait of Hormuz in international waters. Of course, it comes just moments after President Trump hit back at Iran, saying that the U.S. Navy, without a doubt, shot down one of their drones. Joining me now, Margaret Thatcher, Center for Freedom at the Heritage Foundation Director, Mal Gardner. Now, uh, I want to remind the audience, uh, this kind of stuff goes back. 2007, the HMS Cornwall was seized by Iran. The sailors were kept for 15 days. And I remember back then, to me, it was an embarrassment to the West as the U.K. went to Brussels for help, really didn't get any help. And more recently now, the U.K. seems to be much firmer in its resolve. And so what do you make of this, how this whole thing is playing out? Uh, yes, uh, Charles, certainly the U.K. is adopting a very uh, tough uh, stance towards Iran at the moment. You're seeing a bigger British military deployment in the area. The British are sending a destroyer to the Strait of Hormuz. And just uh, in the last uh, hour or so, we understand that a, a British-flagged uh, oil tanker has been seized by Iran's Revolutionary Guard. And there is uh, already an emergency meeting of the uh, COBRA team here in London. Uh, all of the, the key uh, intelligence uh, and defense chiefs are meeting to discuss the, uh, the latest incident uh, in the Strait of Hormuz. And so Britain certainly is on high alert with regard to Iranian aggression. And it is vital that uh, the United Kingdom and the United States stands up to any attempt by Iran to intimidate uh, international shipping in the Strait of Hormuz. This is the latest act of saber rattling from the Iranian uh, regime. Uh, but we are seeing certainly Britain adopting uh, a significantly tougher stance than any other European country. Right. Uh, and certainly the UK and the US are closely coordinating efforts uh, in the, the Gulf to combat Iranian aggression.